uh, mga kababayan ko, meron tayong isang tanong na gustong malaman ng halos lahat. Ito yung on why there is only a small drop in tuition fees despite there being no face-to-face -face classes. Nasagot na ni ano yan, and they may, they may come up with the expanded explanation uh, to the press para malaman ng lahat. Uh, as announced, schools will open on August 24, but there is still no face-to-face -face sessions until we get a vaccine. Because uh, ang iposta mo dyan, in your desire to resume classes, you, ang kapalit niyan is really, the COVID is still here. Nandyan pa yung, hindi, hindi lang pa umabot pa sa iyo. Instead, we will follow a blended learning approach. Part of this learning strategy is distance and online learning using communications, technology, and digital devices. Now, for the far-flung areas, meron siyang, ano, yun nga ang kawawa dyan is yung, walang, may, may radyo sana, walang TV, walang cellphone, wala lahat. Ito yung mamahirap na kung mayroon na lang sana silang uh, radyo, uh, pwede nang mabutit na pumat na mata yung ingay. No? Sabi yung ito. Ito yung umi. Yung, yung air prisoner para hindi kami magkakubin. Ang problema nito, baka pag uwi namin, mag-chill na kami. Ah... Uh, <clears throat> yung well, that is not a problem of the uh, Department of Education but uh, yung the lack of communications or how to get through the students baski radyo lang uh, eh, ang radyo ngayon is uh, hindi naman mahal uh, uh, we will buy 300, sabi ni Secretary Briones. Baka kung magtagal ito talaga, sayang ang panahon, we might buy the radio at 300, maibigay sa lahat ng, sa lahat ng barangay, maabot ng radio para naman yung mga mahirap may communication sila sa teacher nila. Even without, without a face there, uh, as long as you are really interested to learn, ito yung mga, uh, mga mahirap, kaawa naman. We will try to come up with something in the next few days. Maybe before the end of the week, I would be able to look for the money. Wala na tayong pera ngayon, I would look for the money to buy transistor radios to be distributed all throughout the country. We will try to do it. Uh, we might not be able to succeed to bring all of it uh, to the barangay level, but we will try. I said, uh, just, just, give, just give me it until the end of the week. Ang the battle of uh, COVID is not over. Sabi ko, nandyan pa yung germ na yan at hindi nawawala. Depende lang. Arami na. Dito na ang um, ang tinatamaan, oh, it's about 26. It's still, you know, I, I cannot say it's second wave because it is still increasing sa infected uh, tapos ang namatay is 1,000. Although what is very heartening is the recovery which is about 6,252. It, it, it's a good record compared to the other countries. I don't know if it has something to do with uh, wala. Ang diferensya sa atin sa atin is weather. Maybe it's not too cold or the germ is not really <laughs> no comfortable in, in hot uh, places. 
We are gradually easing restrictions to make way for our economic viability as individuals and as a nation. But it does not mean that we will forget our minimum health standards. Ganito yan eh. Hindi ko kayo mapigilan na lumabas. Hindi ko kayo mahuli lahat. Ang problema niyan, pati yung mga bata, kung samahin ninyo, or you allow your children to go out when the place is not yet ready for them to be outside at nagkasakit. Huwag ninyo kaming sisihin. Do not forget that we warned you about the grave consequences. Marami pang namamatay by the thousands sa Brazil. Ako, sinabi ko na, kasi napunta ako ng Brazil. Maraming tao talaga doon, dikit-dikit. Sabi ko noong pag-umpisa pa lang, pag umabot ito ng South America, ang Brazil ang sinabi ko, delikado to. Dumating nga. It was a prophetic statement. But I know that I was there. Yung slum areas nila, kagaya rin sa atin. Uh, ang mabuti na siguro dito, kasi nananiniwala kayo sa inyong gobyerno. Well, if not really, na, uh, sa personally, ayaw ako ninyo. Uh, just listen to our advice because that's intended for everybody. At para sa kapakanan ninyo yan. Ngayon, kung umalumabas talaga kayo, you run the risk of getting infected, huwag ninyo kaming sisihin. Let us continue to observe proper social distancing kung maglabas kayo. Yung distance, magpalayo ka lang. Kung nandito ka sa Paranaque, uh, iwasan mo yung taga Quezon City, ganun kalayo. Para <laughs> wala. I'm joking. Nagpapatawa lang ako kasi inaantok na kami. Kanina pa kami dito eh. Frequent hand washing. Kung wala to alcohol, mura lang man ito. Or, you know, come to think of it really. Maghukas ka lang ng kamay, ng sabon. Hmm. Uh, yung ordinaryo lang na sabon na ayo lo I, I do not have to mention the product but uh, yung sabon na panlaba uh, uh, yung just on the same side kung sabi ka pag sabi niya magsabi ka kasing puti na nandamit ang kamay mo <laughs> yung may may yung may advertisement niyan Mare, masyadong paputi ang labada mo. Hindi labada ho yan, kamay ko yan. <laughs> Bear in mind that you have a part in our collective effort to prevail against the pandemic. Magkaisa talaga tayo dito. Kaya kung isa-isa tayo, mag... Ngayon, hu hu huwag tayo sumunod sa iba kasi yung iba, they're suffering. Especially those who declared na pwede na lumabas when knowing all along na nandyan pa ang COVID hindi pa nawawala the only way to fight COVID is vaccine or yung maybe yung miracle pill that would kill just as an antibiotic would kill a bacteria but itong virus cannot be killed by antibiotic, katawan mo talaga ang mag-produce ng antibodies. Now, there's a pill, I hope it's true, na parang lalaban. And it can maybe, sabi, kill the... Uh, yun ang maganda. Pag yun ang dumating, pag available na, mag-order na ako ng... Then I will distribute it. I will personally supervise the distribution Ako mismo, I will supervise the distribution of the uh, whatever there is para uh, to guarantee that every that everybody gets a fair share of the medicines and the medical care. Uh, with that, I would like to say 
Daghang salamat sa inyong tanan. Thank you.